Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Okay, now for the final in the series of these travel videos that my partner Issa and I did over in Hawaii, we are now here with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. If you remember from my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 video, and if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you hit it up in the links appearing above and or found below, you will see at the end of that video that Issa and I went ahead and swapped phones. She will now be on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and I'm on the Flip. Make sure you see her videos from Hawaii as well in the links that are above and below. And of course, for more real-world camera tests like this and further content on these foldables from Samsung, hit that subscribe button on my channel and get into the comment sections down below to let me know what you think of all of these devices. So let's get through some top-level information regarding the Galaxy Z Flip 3. You'll notice that I have the matte black edition here. This is the unit that I actually bought, but back in Hawaii, we were using my review unit, which is, of course, the lavender color. Now, this might be the phone that a lot of you are seriously considering because it literally folds down or flips up and flips flips back down into a smaller form factor, one that is easier for you to transport in your various pockets and maybe purses and bags. One of the main things it does have to offer is that covered display. Uh, it's a display that allows you to look at your notifications, get a good amount of information from them, but there are also cards that let you access certain bits of info as well. Much like with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, this is still not a phone that you want to have in, let's say, precarious situations for dust and even sand to get in between this gap or just at all on this phone because while it does have an IPX8 waterproof rating, dust is still something that can damage this thing. Now, if you've seen the last video, obviously you know that Issa and I brought these phones out to a couple of beaches during our time on Oahu, but we were still super careful to not get any sand anywhere near it, and we definitely did not dip them in the salt water because it would not be able to take that. The IPX8 rating is for fresh water only. And of course, for someone like me that likes to vlog with smartphones in these real-world camera tests, that cover display is going to come in really handy because it serves as a preview of your camera app using the main sensors on the rear. You still get 12 megapixel sensors on the back, but this time you only get two compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 3. You get the main sensor and of course an ultra wide. That ultra wide being something that I will use quite a bit in these vlogging shots because when you go into the camera app, you can show off the preview of what you're shooting using the cover display. Here is a quick look at the cover display in action. This is after you hit that preview icon that is in the very corner of the camera viewfinder. And then when you hit the wide angle, here you go, we're in the video mode. You can now see that Issa's over there working on her Samsung content. Uh, this is going to be what you use if you want to use the main cameras for things like vlogging. As so, if I were to move it like this, you can see that I'm looking at myself in the cover display preview. If I'm centered in that little display, obviously I can't show you the entire frame, but if if I'm centered in the cover display, I'm basically centered in the actual frame of the cameras. So that's one thing for you to keep in mind when you are actually recording with this phone as a creator's tool. But of course, if I just want to make things a little bit easier on myself, I can always go to the front facing camera and that is a 10 megapixel shooter that can shoot in 4K resolution as well. But all right, that's enough information regarding the phone itself. Let's go ahead and put it into practice for this particular day out in the North Shore in Oahu. Uh, if any of you out there are familiar with the North Shore, you will know that this video is probably going to be all about that shrimp. But here we are at Giovanni's Shrimp Truck here in Oahu. I have to try this one out. One of the main spots to go to to get this North Shore spicy garlic or lemon butter or shrimp scampi. The terms North Shore and shrimp trucks go hand in hand, and in Oahu, the North Shore has been one of the main places for large-scale freshwater fishing. In 1993, Giovanni started serving shrimp from one of these trucks, and they have a permanent location in Kahuku. Giovanni has inspired many other trucks to open up, also providing their version of shrimp on plate lunches, mainly cooked in garlic and butter. The thing is, as you can see behind me right over here, there are actually a lot of different places that you can go to around here. Giovanni's is not the only attraction, not the only food truck here. There's actually a ton of food trucks in the North Shore, but Giovanni's brings a lot of the people. That line has not died down one bit. It's a fairly hot topic for debate, exactly which shrimp establishment is the best one. Giovanni's is the one people will first tell you to go to, and there are a couple of locations, one of which we tried to go to, but the line was so long that we decided to make the 45 minute drive to the second location, which you're seeing now. What's cool is that they actually literally have to have it. So here is a look at the scampi here. And then over 
over here, we have the hot and spicy. So you can already see during our, let's say, first lunch here at Giovanni's uh, that I'm enjoying using the cover display as a way of getting vlogging done with the main sensors. Now with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, you are able to open that thing up completely so that you can use the cover screen, it's not just a little display, it's an entire screen, as a viewfinder for the rear cameras. That's still one of my favorite things to do with that phone. And now on the Z Flip 3, they've kind of bridged that gap a little bit. But one of the other reasons why the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is so desired is because the body form, the form factor itself, can serve as the phone's own little tripod stand. You can angle that front-facing camera up for perfect vertical video shots for things like social media, or you can even turn that thing around and you can use the rear cameras and angle them up from there as well. One of the cool things about the Z Flip 3, you can do 16 by 9 while you have it in the flex mode. The thing is it crops into the sensor so you're getting a 1080p video, which is a little bit of a bummer because this cover screen is doing such a good job at helping me frame it up using the rear cameras. Wide angle camera, it's just that the sensor is being cropped out of the middle for this video. This is so bomb. It's so good. And what's great is because we like it so much, we're gonna try another location. We're going to Romy's after this. Romy's Kahuku Prawns considers themselves the original, and given the amount of demand that there was for their prawns, it's not hard to see why they are considered one of the best competitors to Giovanni's. Not only would our dishes take quite a long time to finally get ready, so we had to wait in our car, but we couldn't get any of the prawns. We had to stick with just the shrimps. This, uh, this might be the saddest we've ever seen. This is best blood, yes. <laughs> car vlog. Not really. We had to come back into the car because the wait is actually well over an hour. Uh, PSA, for anybody coming to the islands, um, ideally, you probably would be um, rescheduling or anything like that just to ease up on what's going on in Hawaii as tourism really ramps up right now. But even when you come and you go to places like uh, Romy's here, uh, they tell you, like, really, really adhere to everything. like. Stay, follow signs. follow signs, keep your masks on at all times. They're not letting anybody loiter around there, wait in the car, and then they will escort you to, a, well, not escort you, but then they'll bring you to a spot where you can eat um, under their tents. Basically, the main thing I want to say is for places like Romy's that are so beloved by uh, people who come here and the locals, yes, show your support by coming here and actually being patrons, but also show your support by following whatever rules they have in place. We were straight up baking in the sun, or in the car in the sun, so we're gonna check out this little uh, market here. folded, hit that power button twice, and then you can swipe to change the lenses. I wonder if I can do it while recording. I cannot. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, but yeah, I'm on the wide angle right now. The thing is, as you can see right now, um, the aspect ratio is going to be a square. Kind of makes sense. I mean, you are going to turn on this cover display video or photo, and then they want to have you, they want to give you a little bit of flexibility so you're gonna lose a little bit on the top and bottom for vertical videos but then you can just crop into the frame to get your 16 by 9 shots or footage uh, which is what would happen anyway if you use these cameras and hit that 16 by 9 when holding the phone in vertical It's hard for me to even describe just how decadent this dish is. When we opened up the styrofoam, you already saw just how much garlic was in this spicy garlic dish. So much for a diet and so much for portion control, this was definitely one of the best parts of our trip. 
Obviously, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is really doing it for me as far as a creator's tool. There are a lot of possibilities given the phone's form factor, but then I can hear some of you saying, well, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 can do all of that too. The thing is, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 does have a little bit more to offer, especially with that zoom sensor on the rear. Uh, the thing is, that form factor, while it can do many of the same things as the Z Flip 3, just feels a little bit more bulky in those times when you're not actually using it. With the cover display on the Galaxy Z Flip 3, you just have to put a little bit of brain power in so that you can frame yourself up using what's given on the outside, uh, but for the most part, it should be enough for your various vlogging desires. Okay, so in the whole debate of Giovanni's versus others, in this case Romy's, uh, I think that it really depends on what your tastes are. Here at Romy's, they go all in on the way that they make their, their stuff. Part of the reason why they're also more expensive. Uh, but also, one thing I'll give Romy's for sure is that we got a real Ohana feeling from it. Like, even though uh, the main woman who is uh, calling out the orders and telling people things, um, she'll be very strict about people sitting in these seats and that people need to be socially distanced and whatnot. She has this like strict voice about her up until you come up to get your order. And then she looks at me and she goes, oh, how many utensils do you need, hon? It's like a quick 180. So you just gotta love how the, um, I'm not up on my Hawaiian terms in terms of all of this, but the Hawaiian auntie came out and it really made me feel welcome here. So that Ohana spirit, that Aloha spirit, definitely in full force here with this food. But just like with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, what you're paying for here is that form factor. And it's up to you whether or not that will be enough for you to justify the price here, even though the Galaxy Z Flip 3 finally comes in at a lower price than it used to in the past. And so there you have it, a look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Again, this is the matte black version that I bought, but the one that you saw in this video was the Lavender Edition. The matte black does have a different finish to it. I think it actually is a little bit better as far as feel is concerned, but other people like Isa will prefer the colors. It makes sense to me that Samsung has geared this phone more and it's marketing towards like the lifestyle crowd, potentially more like the content creator slash social media crowd because this cover display is uh, really adding to this experience. The Z Flip 3 is honestly really fun to use right now. Case in point, here we are in the actual coffee garden and I'm using the portrait video mode right now with the cover display. Uh, being able to use these other modes that give you some interesting looking footage and let you get more creative, but you can still use those rear cameras for them while framing yourself up. So this cover display, definitely paying dividends already. It may be a little bit small, you may not be able to see everything, but as long as you are in the frame, you can rest assured that you're in the shot. And with the larger cover display this time around, I think the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is really providing a great example as to just how useful, practical, and fun a foldable can be. For more on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and for more on the foldables at large, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can also find the rest of the content that Isa and I did over on the islands in links that are appearing above and below. Uh, after that, drop some likes on this video and drop some comments in the comment sections down below. Tell me what you think of the Galaxy Z Flip 3. If you got one, what are you using it most for? Are you enjoying the cover display? What color did you get? Sound off in the comments down below. With all of that said, we're going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea everybody.